Expectations. September 23, 2015. We wish to discuss today the expectation of, and the reality of, this expected portal of ascension that many of you are placing your hopes upon. We think it is a topic that should be understood now so that you do not continue to set yourselves up for such disappointments as you seem to repeatedly do. In the latter part of your year of 2012, you did this same sort of thing. You built up your expectations and emotional investment to a point that would have been very hard to satisfy, even were most of them to be fulfilled. Now, it is a good thing to be excited by possibilities. Your emotion is indeed a driving force that cannot be overestimated. It is a high vibration to be in. But placing it on things that are little more than wishful thinking, based upon things that are not in alignment with universal law, will always lead to your disappointment and a sudden lowering of your vibration. Do you see? That which thrives on your low vibrational states could hardly wish for more. We are not ever saying that none of the things that you hope and intend to occur will eventually occur. We are saying that their manifestation will always depend upon the vibrational signature of the individual or the collective consciousness involved. If you are considering the manifestations that occur for an individual, then the primary thing that must be considered is that individual's frequency. And more and more individuals have are and will be continue to be experiencing great leaps in their consciousness states and abilities as the energies around your planet rise higher and higher. Many are having what you term kundalini experiences, amazing changes in their dream states, visitations to and from other dimensions, etc. Of course when you add all that up, you get a rise in the collective consciousness, do you not? And that is what drives what you see in the world around you. Every seemingly small step that one of you takes, contributes to the advance of all of you. This is absolutely of major importance for you to begin to understand and live by. What can I do today that will be my contribution? That is far different from, what will happen on that day that will lift me, do you see? The one puts you squarely in your own power. The other places the power outside of you. And we submit that this is a condition that you may not wish to continue to allow. If each of you were living with the understanding of what a marvelous, magical, and powerful being you truly are, would this not be a far different world than it is? Is that not the very description of the new earth you so desire? So take the power to change things and manifest things, build the world that you want back into your own hands, your own hearts. Do not allow that to be usurped by promises of miraculous things to occur on certain dates. That is not to say that thresholds will never be crossed. It is not to say that marvelous things will not happen. But it does mean that you are the ones that will manifest it, and your own individual life can be changed by you far more easily than you can imagine when you are in that kind of thinking. You are further along than you think you know. You have made amazing progress over the last few decades. It is amazing when you consider what an infinitely short amount of time a few decades really is. Even one lifetime, when you understand that you are an eternal being, is like a split second. And here you are on the threshold of an amazing leap in your evolution. So we urge you to bring your focus back to its most powerful place, here, and its most powerful time, now. You are here. It is now. And this is where the work can be done. I will make my contribution here and now. I will do what I must do to raise my vibration now. For some of you that will be a great deal different from what it is for others, and that is all right. Each must take the next step that is before them. It is no use trying to take a next step that is best for another. You have a unique life. You were designed that way. So when you say, what is my path? The answer is right at your feet. Do you see? When you say, what should I do next? The answer is always before you. This is not a disappointing thing. This is your power place. Now that we have said all of that, we do wish you to know that this is indeed a very powerful time for your world. Great strides may now be made by each and all of you. And in fact, this is happening for many as we speak. Celebration and gratitude for this fact will not be misplaced. 
Joy is never misplaced. Continue moving forward now, secure in the knowing that you are embraced in unconditional love and appreciation for all that you do. Good day. Channeled by Ron Head. Oracles and Healers.wordpress.com